Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, today I am reviewing the Asus Zen Wi-Fi Mesh Network. Uh, really excited about this. Um, I've been living with a mesh network for years now. Uh, I bought the Luma Whole Home Wi-Fi 3-pack back in the day. Uh, I think it launched in 14 or 15, but in any case, um, it's just not holding up anymore. So I'm going to do a comparison with the Lumas and the new Zen Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm unboxing right now, as you see. What I love uh, about this is that this is also uh, next generation ready with Wi-Fi 6. Um, I don't think I have any Wi-Fi wi 6 devices at the moment, but um, in any case... Uh, really excited to have these. They're a lot smaller than I was anticipating. Um, the little uh, bubbly cans there for your reference. But um, anyways, the reason why I wanted to showcase the Lumas in this video is to demonstrate the differences between a three, an older three-pack Wi-Fi mesh system and now Asus's new top-of-the-line Wi-Fi 6 mesh network with just two uh, hubs. Um, so here we go. Going down in the basement, I'm going to use my iPad Pro. Uh, this is the latest model to demonstrate my poor speeds. Now this iPad was on the second floor and I had left it there intentionally for this review because I wanted to demonstrate um, how bad my not only my network is but my devices get stuck between the mesh so this luma that you see in the background here is hardwired from our cable modem actually out of a router into this but in any case this is this should not be the case my download speeds upload speeds are just they're horrible and at the end of the video i'm going to show you um, after not only this reboot but i'm going to show you switching to my lte i'm going to test my lte on my iPad and then I'll go back to the Wi-Fi and, and the results are going to be much better uh, with the Luma. But again, it's it's older mesh Wi-Fi technology that just isn't cutting it. So here I'm running a second test. Um, this usually isn't the case. If my iPad was sitting in the basement, you know, for 15, 20 minutes and I ran this test, I'd be getting 30, 40, 50 down uh, without a problem. But this is telling us that this iPad is stuck on the second floor Luma and that's where we're going right now so here's the second floor Luma this is also hardwired so I have three Lumas basement first floor third floor the basements hardwired and then from the basement I'm hardwired up into this unit right here you can see the speeds much better right because this is where my iPad is stuck on it's on this Luma here's the third floor Last Luma, it's plugged in. I'm gonna run a quick test real quick for you. And this is actually pretty good for this time of day. Um, I think I run this test twice, I can't remember, but this this is pretty solid uh, for the Luma. But again, it's not normal. Usually middle of the day, I'm getting 10, 15 down in that room if I'm lucky. So we're gonna go back downstairs. This is a 2,000 square foot house um, with a basement. So the basement's another 1,000 square feet. So I'm dealing with 3,000 square feet here and the Lumas just can't keep up. Here's uh, one more test for you. I just wanted to clear out the Wi-Fi, turn the Wi-Fi back on. Still pretty bad and look how close I am to the Wi-Fi or to the Luma. Um, in fact, I don't know that I've seen speeds this bad before, but this is the perfect demonstration before we get into the, uh, the Asus Zen. So here I'm running, uh, LTE and this is, I mean, listen, I'm, I'm in my basement and I'm getting better download upload speeds with Verizon wireless. Let's turn it back to my cable internet. Let it switch networks, mesh Wi-Fi, back to Zoom, Armstrong. And this is what I normally get. My iPad typically stays in the basement. This is usually what I get. 60 down, 17, 20 up, end of story. But 
Lumos, peace be with you because we're moving on. Hey, and we're back. Uh, Zens are installed, and here's our first test. Check these speeds out. I couldn't be more impressed with these results. Uh, this mesh network is the absolute real deal. Um, we're back in the kitchen. This is where I first started the initial test, and I wanted to run two quick tests right here. Uh, 250, 300 down, 20 up, amazing. Let's go downstairs. Back in the basement behind this uh, piece of artwork is my first wired Zen, which is connected to a wired Zen on the first floor. 260, 300 down, 20 up. These results are just absolutely amazing. Uh, I pay for 300 down. I don't know if I made that clear, but it just goes to show you how bad my mesh network was with the Lumas. Second floor, this one uh, is the second hardwired Zen. It's uh, down on the speaker stand. Again, amazing results. If you're comparing, I mean, look at that. 326 down, 20 up. Super, super consistent. Third floor, this is where the third floor Luma was plugged in. It's no longer there. There is nothing on the third floor. It's another thousand square feet up top. Uh, this is pulling from the second floor Zen. 300 down, 20 up. <clears throat> Truly incredible. And again, I really struggled to get uh, good speeds in here. 30, 40 on average um, on a good day, 20 on bad day. This room, again, never saw anything above 5, 10 down. Uh, literally, it's a, I feel like this corner is a virtual dead spot, and my problem has been completely resolved. 303, 20. Amazing. Uh, one more bedroom, and then we're going to finish with the closet. This bedroom, normally 20, 30 down on a good day. 10, 5, 10 on a bad day. Look at the, look. no spikes, look at the consistency here. I mean, everywhere I've tested, I have a consistent 20 upload, and my download's anywhere between two and 300. This closet, far corner of the house, really didn't get anything I would, I mean, not that I'm running anything in here anyways, but uh, we would just turn off our Wi-Fi in our bedroom, and if we had to use our phones in the bathroom, and this is uh, a continuation from the closet. Amazing, 222, 20. Bye-bye, Luma.